What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Miss Mia. I know I've been gone for a while. Apologies, apologies. Busy. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna come to you with a quick January favorites video. Um, I apologize for the videos. Gonna make it up to you. So, first, I'm gonna start off with the skin care. And yes, I'm rock rocking the Fro Puff today. If you know, it's like below zero in Chicago so I wasn't trying to have it all over my head and I had to pull that hat on my head it was cold <laughs> so, so yeah so soft the skincare so first off I've been using for cleanser I've been using our blemish control cleansing foam by fashion fair and um, this is is for oily skin but it works good for sensitive and um, acne prone skin which I have highly sensitive skin so it works perfectly for me it cleanses good it doesn't leave my skin you know feeling it just cleanses really really good so I really like this and what I've noticed is my skin works better with um, soaps and foams than actually gels or um, cream washes they tend to break me out so I've really been liking this and I've had this for about three months. And I do have a backup. And I just squirt a little bit, wash it, massage it in, rinse it. Love it. The next item I've been using is the Daily Hydrating Toner. And this is designated for dry skin. But I like it because it has witch hazel and natural conditioners in it. Um it doesn't break me out it doesn't do anything like that but it's very very soothing since this is for oily skin it does tend to dry me out a little bit if I use this product by itself without moisturizing or you know toning with this so to together this works very very good for my skin also I've been using let me grab this over here is the refining body and face scrub and this is for combination skin which I really like this it doesn't have a strong smell it's not really really gritty it's not really really jelly like soft um, scrub it's just like medium scrub so it cleanses your face really good without leaving that um, jelly sensation kind of it's, it's it's not rough but it you get what I'm saying but and this is for combination skin though which that is what I have I just get very very dry in the winter time and I get very very oily in the summertime the next thing I've been using was the combination moisturizer which you see I've been working a mess out of this but I like this because, it, like I said, these items do not break me out. It does not irritate my skin. It works good. And it doesn't moisturize my face without being, making it too oily. And it doesn't make it too dry. So that's another skin product that I've been really, really loving. The next product we're going to get into is hair products. So since you know I'm a renewed, I'm a natural hair girl now. Um, and yes, I'm working a natural puff today. Yeah. Um, I've been experimenting with different products, trying to see what goes in my hair, the whole braid out and everything like that. And if you want an in-depth video on like natural hair, leave a comment and I will gladly do it because... I really have been dying to do one of those videos. Okay, so the first thing I have is the VO5 Moisture Milks Moisturizing Conditioner. Love this. Love this, love this, love this. This has vitamin E, H, C, B5, and B3 in it. And this stuff, when I say when I condition my hair because I will sometimes I'll co-wash my hair just with this or when I do 
wash my hair, which I only wash it like, um, well, deep wash it with like shampoo probably twice a month or something like that. Most of the time I just co-wash it. This stuff has my hair, like I can touch it and I can feel the moisture. Like I can feel, it doesn't feel dry or anything. And it feels so bouncy and everything. And I love this stuff. And this is the moisture milk. This is passion fruit smoothie with soy milk protein. And what I've noticed is my hair loves protein. Anything I use with protein in it, it tends to really like protein products um, I know some people don't they can't really use protein or it's too not on it not on their hair but my hair really loves protein um, and especially when I do a wash and go with this product when I say my curls be popping they be popping like I'd be like wow I had I co-washed my hair with this one time I think it was around maybe Christmas Eve and then I put wrapped my hair up as normal it was often that next day on Christmas went to work the day after Christmas Eve day after Christmas I had so many comments on my hair and that was like a third day wash and go I was like oh yeah and you won't believe this. I got this from like Deals to Dollar Tree for like a buck. And that's what's up. The next item I've been loving is the olive oil and mango butter curl defining pudding. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. This stuff leaves my curls on point. Some people it don't work for it, but it works for me. Even when I'm just washing it and without using this, I love how this works in my hair this is actually a empty one I have a new one that I just bought recently but this here has my little homemade concoction in it which is basically um, coconut oil rosemary oil and um, a little Cantu shea butter leave-in conditioner in it and the reason why I put this in here because when I do my braid outs I love how that those three items together have my braid out and twist out so this is like my homemade little con con concoction yeah and um so that's why I get this because I've really been loving rosemary oil on my hair and I've really been loving the coconut oil and I get that from your, like, your grocery store little containers and I mix them wiggle it and when I'm going out I might take some more rosemary oil because my hair for some reason loves the rosemary oil so I love it too <laughs> so okay next items I have I'm gonna go with the makeup products so first off I'm gonna go with face so for face I'm going to go with foundations. Foundations I've been using is the Fashion Fair Refining Mineral Foundation in Coffee and Copper. As you see, yeah, I have like a couple of drops in there. This foundation is a little bit, but yeah, been really loving this. Um, I get so many compliments when I wear this foundation and I was mostly wearing it in the winter time because my skin like I said gets dry so it gives me like a luminous glow like my skin looks so healthy so beautiful so radiant and I think I sell every time I wear this I sell like crazy so I love to wear this of course the next item I've been recently wearing I'm back to my foundation stick in tender which I've used quite a bit of it and as you see yeah but I love this and I'm actually wearing this today yeah so that's the foundation stick and this is a cream to powder um, foundation 
it is full to light coverage because it has a concealer built in so I love that about it because you can just go on a little bit or when I'm not even working and I just want to throw some I just go like this in my little ethnic sections and blend it out and go perfect for using it as just a concealer or foundation whatever you like the next item I love to use on my face is the Ella Girls Pro Conceal I have two of these need to get more I love these things this is in the color warm honey wearing it today under my eye I only put concealer honestly under my eye area I don't put concealer anywhere else I don't put concealer on my nose I don't do that I just like concealer as mostly as a highlight because my eye area isn't dark but it's not as light as it was when I was younger <laughs> so I love using the LA Girls Pro Concealer and it stays long lasting and it's only like what a dollar seventy five two ninety nine you can't beat that for some good stuff um the next item I've really been loving and I have this also on today too is the Ben Nye Topaz um translucent face powder and I love to use this all over as a face powder and it to me it looks very very natural it gives you a natural glow it soaks in the skin so flawlessly like at first when you first put it on I'm not gonna lie to you put all on your face this shit looks kinda ashy <laughs> it looks kinda ashy and you're like I don't know about this but after like one to two minutes of it sitting it warms up and it like melts into your skin and it doesn't have that ashy effect anymore and trust me I know people are like you putting on too much no I take this big powder brush put a little bit in my top that that blend it out that's not too much but in all in all it's a great powder it doesn't leave that ashy look when you get done but it does at first but to be honest with you all powders the majority of powder powders when you first use it has like an ashy effect that's normal a little fix plus or plenty more to surge help you out anyway next item I love using sticking with face is the MAC blush in copper tone love this blush I've been wearing this blush like crazy it's been going through some stuff but I've been loving this blush like crazy and I love this blush um, especially when I wear my red lip like oh we're gonna get into that but I love this blush great neutral blush next blush I've been loving is divine pink by fashion fair and um looks like that it's just like a bubblegum pink I don't want to say bubblegum bubblegum hot pink maybe and I'm actually wearing that today my cheeks and as you see it doesn't come off as hot pink as it looks it actually gives you like a nice flush pink like it's just I'm in love with it <laughs> yeah the next items I love is sun bronzer and I love this I love this for everything I love this when I'm putting on the foundation and put it I take it with my same brush here dip it go in a teaspoon love it like that and it just warms up your skin like it just gives you like this warm type of glow and I really really like that and so I've been wearing this and sometimes I might just go in with that by itself or a highlight when I don't want to wear any foundation great the next thing I love using for a highlight is albatross and this has been through the dogs but I love this um, highlight love it we all know what that is so no introduction the next thing for I'm gonna go with eyes is I've been really 
digging into me. And people don't 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 get me because I know it's a neck two and a neck of three out, but hey, I guess I gotta catch up. Um but now seriously. I've been loving this palette and I wasn't using it for a long time, but I said I'm gonna use it because I need to get my money's worth. I spent three dollars on product, I need to use it. So <laughs> this is the naked palette and as you see like I've really been loving naked there and I actually I'm actually wearing that today I'm wearing smog and a little bit of wet and wild on my eyes love this and I've been really really loving this especially I've been really going crazy over the neutral eye and the bold red or bold purple bold lips period so that's why I've been really rocking this palette and as you see this is the vanity palette yeah this color is gone so I had to go over which I do have a backup of this one but I've really been I really love this color here that was here and this reddish brown which I also have that in my eye today as well and I love using this on the outer V or as a transitioning or just all over it gives off a beautiful eye when you really want to be really be neutral neutral and not really have an eyeshadow put this by itself right on the eyelid put a transition color in it yeah compliments great look so and the next item I've been really been loving to use is I can find it. And this is on my brows. Oh shoot! What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Ugh. Sorry, people. Sorry, 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 sorry. You hurry up, get through this video because it's getting super long. Okay, so the next thing I love to use, I love to use this um, tender brown on my brows. It's a brow powder. As well as I've been using the e.l.f. eyeliner on my brows. And I've really been liking how that look looks. It stays long. So I've been really, really feeling that. The next items I've been loving to use is I'm gonna hop into this. I'm not gonna swatch them because God, I did not realize this video was this thing long. I'm sorry. Um is the black mascaras is hypno style lash mascara. The wand looks like this, along with my gum primer, looks like that. Love this stuff, and I'm wearing that also today on my lashes. Love it. The next items I love to wear is lipsticks. It's the Ruby Woo and the MAC lipstick. Love it, as well as Forbidden in fashion fair which is like a deeper more um everyday red 908c by wet and wild love this color this is one of my favorites as well as chocolate raspberry by fashion fair looks like that As well as First Lady by Fashion Fair, which is a soft pink. And the two glosses I love to wear is this one on top of the First Lady. I love to wear this. And this is in Foxy Pink. And this is in Chocolate Raspberry, which I'm actually wearing that on my lip right now. But I love to pair it on top of the Chocolate Raspberry lipstick. It makes it really pop. The very last item I have. It's going to be um, for 
body. This was gifted to me from work from a co-worker. This is Ralph Lauren Big Pony Collection. Um, three. Body spray. Love it. Smells good. Great when you got the shower. And that's it. So, everybody have a great day. Rate, comment, subscribe. And love you. Leave comments on anything you want me to do. Sorry if this video was so long. Didn't realize it. And, yeah. Peace out.